Hi, I'm Matt, and in this, my first tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create accurate vector shapes in Adobe Illustrator from any image in Photoshop. So we're going to start off in Photoshop here, and I'm going to get the magic wand first of all, and just click on there and see, I want to cut this baby's face out. I'm going to cut the baby's face out, um, so I'm, the magic wand is showing me that it is a little jagged there, a little jagged, but it's... It's close enough to what I want, but the problem is we're getting all of this extra gump down here. We don't want that. So I'm going to use, instead of using the magic wand, I'm going to use the uh, magnetic lasso tool, which is there. And we're just going to click once, follow the line of the baby's face down like this. Don't worry if it's not too accurate. Follow it down, stroke it, stroke the baby's face down there. And stroke down onto the baby's neck and follow it down to the bottom. Now I've traced the shape that I want but we need a full closed shape to do what we're doing so I'm just going to roll around there and when I get close close the shape off, see the little circle appear? Click. Now we've got a marquee that fo follows the baby's face. That's pretty much what we need to work with it in Photoshop so now we're going to right click and go to make work path choose the lowest tolerance 0.5 pixels and it's drawn a little jagged line around there don't worry about that control and C to copy and then we're going to go into Adobe Illustrator control and N for a new one I'm going to make it 500 by 500 square sort of avatar type shape RGB 72 excellent and we're just going to hit control and V to paste and it's going to go compound shape and there we have the outline in Illustrator but the problem is it's all jagged let's fill it with a colour uh, let's make it black right so now we can see it's, it's too jagged that is there are many ways you can smooth it out but the easiest way is to use the smooth tool it's in the pencil there, smooth tool. and then just drag it down like that I'm holding down the button and I'm following the line and watch what happens when I let go it removes a lot of the points and creates a more accurate, smoother gradient. I'm actually deforming the baby's face somewhat here, but that's fine. That still looks like a baby to me. So we're going to follow that down. And that's all nice and smooth. I'm not going to use the entire shape here. There's no reason why you couldn't draw entirely around an object in a photograph. Uh, but in this instance, I'm just going to place the baby on the photo there like that. Check the artboard. Yeah, that's nice. That looks like a baby. I don't think the baby's very sophisticated though. So I'm going to breathe an air of sophistication to this uh, this image and we'll go back to Photoshop and I've got this which you'll see is quite a low resolution image. It's got lots of horrible pixelation around the edges so to make my magnetic lasso work a little bit better uh, I'm going to go to image size and scale that up, make it really big and choose enlargement and that's going to make it massive but at least allow me to get a smoother result with the lasso in fact I'm just going to try the magic wand on this one oh look at that right it's not 100% accurate but it doesn't need to be for these purposes you see these little bits and bobs in here and they might come in useful so let's right click and select inverse because I magnetic wand the background uh, so now we've selected that. Again, right click, make work path, lowest tolerance, control and C, back to Illustrator, control and V, compound shape. And there it is. I'm going to make that smaller. I'm holding shift so it retains its uh, uh, dimensions there. Bring it over. Oh, nice. Damn, that is, that's one sophisticated baby. But we're not done yet. We're going to move that up a little bit and then we're going to give it, let's make the pipe red, red pipe. Uh, it's in front so we're going to push that behind, send backwards. Yeah, that's pretty good but again we've got quite a jagged shape, we don't want it that jagged so again select the path, give it some smoothing. Ooh. That look really dodgy, be a bit more accurate with that. There we go, smooth that out too. 
keep this move. Damn it. There we go, that's a bit better. Let's move around in here. Zoom, zoom in when you smooth as well, because it'll work a little bit more accurately a lot of the time. Especially if you're doing this sort of stuff. See, I like this. That's working. And there, and there. And then, of course, smooth all of that out. Not perfect. That, on the other hand, is damn. Okay, I've finished basking in the glory of that now, so we're going to hit the artboard. I'm happy with that. Let's export it. We're going to go File, Export, straight to the desktop. We're going to do it as, we'll do it as a JPEG, and we'll use the artboards. Hit Save. Uh, it's got to be a good quality. This is sophisticated stuff. And then we can go to the desktop. There it is. So that's the tutorial on how to create vector shapes from even low resolution images in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe for more tutorials coming up later on. Thanks for watching.